Hey guys, what's up? Billy Cardigan here with the Facts and Pedals Arena Corner, and today we're talking to Chad from the CKY band. Now, CKY is a very cool rock band that's from PA, Pennsylvania, which is the state that we're in, and we're at Underground Arts in, in uh, Philly. I'm from Philly, too. Are you from PA, you said? Are you from Philadelphia? I'm from Philadelphia, yes. Oh, Where are you from? Well, I, am, I was born in Philadelphia. Born at Einstein Hospital. Me too. Oh, yeah? I think I recognize you from there. You look a lot older, though. Well, Philly is a very cool town, and this is a very cool rock musician, as indicated by the leather jacket and sunglasses, tats, and... Uh, I don't have any tats. I'm a, I look like I would. I didn't... You know, I read your Wikipedia page today, because um, I've never listened to your music, but yeah. I read the Wikipedia page, and it was saying that... I don't know. It just sounded like you probably would have tats. Like, I've never uh, been, you know, naked with another person, but if I were... It's like, maybe it would be hot, like, oh, that person might have some tats underneath all that clothing, and then their naked body will be further enhanced by the tattoos on their body. Or, you could imagine they have tattoos under their skin. Behind the gear. You play guitar. I did. Yes, I do. I... And you sing for this band, the CKY band. Yes, yes. So, how do you do that both at the same time? Because that seems like it would be really, you know, like, you can... Do you just, um, is the guitar just playing through a backing track and then you're just singing on top? It would be so much easier. That's an awesome idea. Yeah. I got to tell somebody. Because when I play, I don't, you know, I don't sing and play at the same time. That's very difficult. And I know some like people did that were really good, like the Beatles and stuff. The Beatles were really good. Did you ever do this? You rub your head and pat your tummy? Behind the key. Now, I did want to ask you, because you're a rock musician and rock is a cool genre, I'm a big rock fan. I love uh, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd. I Do you think you're gonna say you like Quartz or like Opal? I've never heard of them. Yeah, yeah, because you, you, you're a rock fan. Well, you have a very cool rock band, and um, you know, I was just wondering: Do you think your guys are better or worse than Led Zeppelin? Far worse. We pride ourselves on being as the opposite of Led Zeppelin as possible in a negative direction. Well, you're not British, so that's the first step to not being them. We knew that from day one. But you play guitars and sing and stuff, so that's very Led Zeppelin style of yes, behavior. Unfortunately. Behind the gear. So we're here to talk about your pedals and guitar, because without the pedals, that's really what makes the rock music come through the speakers and the amps. So uh, what kind of guitar are you working with on your CKY tour? Uh, I am playing, proudly, I'm playing uh, Ernie Ball Music Man guitars. Uh, they have been an amazing company, and they, they make great guitars. What color is your guitar? My guitar is black, which is not a good color for a guitar because it disappears on the stage. They are right now building me a custom CKY guitar to replace the one that I used to have, which was a classic. But uh, Can't you just spray paint the one you already have? Why can't you just change the color on there? Well, I'm really sloppy with spray paint, so I would, it wouldn't look that good. Behind the gear. So what pedals do you use? Because I just see one fat pedal and then some other... Well, tell us about... Just run us through your board here. This is a wah pedal. And you're from Pennsylvania, right? Philadelphia. So what this does is, if you remember the original commercials from the 70s, it would go wah, 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 wah. And this is made by a guy named Jimi Hendrix. He's still making them. But he died in the 60s. Which? Jimi Hendrix. Hendrix. Behind the gear. So this has many different buttons, so the different buttons make different sounds come out of the box? It, whatever I can program into it, because these are computers. You know we're living in 2017. And all these buttons do crazy things. This one makes Star Wars sounds, obviously. It says stack on it. I don't, that's supposed to say Star Wars. Now it does. And then that's reverb. It means, hello, hello, hello. That... Well, that's kind of like delay, though. And then 
this is a phaser pedal that has the Eddie Van Halen stripes on it. Like, boom, 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 So basically, there's many pedals in this little box, big box. There's a lot of pedals, but in combination, you can make, I could say maybe it's a one pedal, because some pedals do multiple things. So why you need a big pedal that has all the little ones in there instead Quick of just changes. getting a couple little ones? Quick changes, like in the middle of the song, I might have like, I want a phaser and distortion and delay. So instead of like, then... But couldn't you just take your time between songs and say, let, okay guys, yeah. in the audience, you know, let's just give me a minute and then, and then just change it. <laughs> Behind the gear. So what kind of amp are you playing out of? I am playing out of a vint. Well, I'll tell you what. What, what. what does it look like I'm playing out of? It looks like it's a Marshall, right? It looks like a very big, fat rock amp, which you could use to fill up a whole stadium. This is a very small venue because they're not a very popular band, but this is big enough to fill up a big uh, space. The venues just keep getting smaller. Behind the gear. This is a giant Marshall amp, right? Yeah. And the Marshalls sound amazing. So what we wanted to do is bring one out. We have our tech put this giant thing. It's so heavy. We have him bring it out of the trailer and take it out of cases and put it up here. It looks like it's going to sound so good. And then after all that, all we do is mic this down here. It's a little amp that costs $14 uh, at the Guitar Center. And we have like 17 of them in the bus. And we, so why do you do it that way? Because it looks like, if I just put that on stage, it would look like we would be the worst, like the little, we'd sound so, we'd sound little or something. And then here, now it looks like, like super rock. Behind the gear. I saw on Bam Marjorie's Instagram, he did a photo with you, and then he did a photo with M. Night Shyamalan. Did you meet M. Night Shyamalan? No, but I always hear stories that Bam knows him. Have you ever seen any of his movies? Bam's movies? Yeah, of course. No, no, no. Uh, uh, Shyamalan. Yeah, I, I, I read about them on the internet, and I don't like them. Because he did a movie about a dead kid, and um, Bruce Willis was in there. And it was you know... It wasn't like an action movie like Die Hard, but he was still like cool in the movie, and then there was a dead child, and it was a good movie. Behind the gear. Do you ever get in just violent arguments with your bandmates? Not anymore. Why not? Because we're nicer guys now. We're older. But you used to get in fights and stuff? Yeah. Was it? What were the fights about? <sighs> Everything, man. I mean, we're a living Spinal Tap joke all day long that's the point of this behind the key and we have a gig to do tonight all right well chad i ginsburg from cky a very cool person wearing a leather jacket Thanks, dude. i appreciate it leather jackets over carnigans hey guys what's up this is john paul Gornico. i'm here with chad from cky you don't know that i'm here today to talk about the synergy between vaping and rock and roll music it's uh, tough man you know yeah you know, i hear you we wish there was some synergy there i i don't know if you're going in the direction where there is synergy in my opinion i and i don't want this to go against your thing vaping was great for me to quit smoking but i would never vape on stage because i don't think it looks cool at all i mean i couldn't imagine Jimi hendrix vaping in the middle of a fucking show like you, you don't think rock and roll songs will there's going to be a rock and roll song about, you know, on the bar room with my, uh, you know, pineapple e-juice. It's probably on the new Keisha album. I, I would listen to that. Dude, I got my dad to quit smoking from vaping, too, uh, and he smoked longer than I did. So um, that's awesome. You know, um, it's, it's great. I, I, I'm not sure how it's going these days. I felt like I was tired of charging so many fucking batteries. I got enough chargers lying around, man, and too much responsibility. Yeah, there's a and lot of electronics. sticky all the time and everything. Yeah, the juices. I mean, I just vape weed now. Do you think a lot of your fans vape? I do. I think a lot of people vape. I mean, there's a band called Awaken I Am from Australia. Everyone, they're on this tour and they're a great band and they're great guys, but everyone in that band vapes two at a hand and they have other backups on chargers. So they just have a whole their dressing room many, has, many. Like, do they even have instruments or do they spend all the after money outlet, on outlet plugged in vaping and some are like transmitting. I hear like doo -doo 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 -doo, coming out of some of them. Do you I mean, like the fruit, fruit flavors? No, dessert flavors. You're like a chocolate sundae? No, chocolate doesn't vape very oh. well. 
I would say more of a uh, when you were when you were vaping, you you used it as a tool to quit smoking, and now you're not really. Yeah, and then like, I got addicted to like the sugary taste of it, and like thinking I fucking oh, like constantly a cigarette or, or a fucking weed vape, like constant consumption, man. If if there was a way to put I mean, a, where, how can you get anything done? Well, if there was a way to put a, a vaporizer, a weed a weed vape in a in a guitar pedal. A weed vape. Would you would you oh, use it on stage? I wouldn't put so it in the pedal, I'd be on my knees trying to suck out of it. But I'd put it in like the headstock, like Eddie Van Halen or something. Like, you know. If you if you talk to the guys who are building your guitar, would you try and get that feature built in? No. I, it's based on your idea, I would, but I wouldn't take it that far. No, I would just vape later or something. All right, I got a sound check, dude. Okay, <laughs> thank, you so much, yeah, thank you so much, Chad. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Appreciate you. Yeah. Effects and pedals, Arena Corner. This has been a Shy Boys production.